The town of Conway in North Wales may be small in size, but it attracts thousands of visitors each year. Dominating the town is the ruins of Conway Castle, a relic of the town's violent past, which has been labelled as Wales's most haunted place. Conway Castle was built by Edward I between 1283 and 1287. It was constructed as part of a wider project to create the walled town of Conway and to stamp his authority over the Welsh. The castle had royal lodgings and over the next few centuries it played an important part in several wars. Reports of ghostly knights in chainmail have been seen walking along the walls and have been said to have called out challenges to anyone getting too close. Two children walking along the wall towards the chapel tower suddenly encountered a man who they described as wearing medieval clothes and a large hat which covered his face in shadow. Intrigued, the children tried to speak with this apparition and were answered by what they described as a funny type of English that they couldn't understand. Confused, the children stood and tried to make sense of what the person wanted. All of a sudden, this entity began to scream as if it was in pain before disappearing completely. The children rushed back to their parents and told what they had seen. Their parents had heard the scream and rushed to find a volunteer in fear that someone had been hurt. A search was made by two volunteers but they found nothing to match what the children had seen. Other visitors that same day reported seeing the same apparition, once walking the inner ward, standing by the well, and standing in the corner of the great hall, clutching at a bloody wound in his stomach. It is believed that this ghost, along with the other mailed night scene, may be linked to when the castle withstood the siege of Madog at Bluenin, in the winter of 1294 to 95. Another ghost that has been seen is of King Richard II of England, who in 1399 took refuge in the castle. Visitors have reported seeing him dressed in a golden coat in the royal lodgings, where he paces mid-air where there was once a floor. Other reported sightings of Richard are of him praying in the chapel tower. There have been numerous sightings of a large man in plate armour, holding a candle out before him as he searches the castle. Who or what this spirit is searching for is unknown, though it has been suggested that money was hidden when forces loyal to Owain Glyndor held the castle for several months in 1401. A more sinister apparition is of a black silhouette who has been seen watching the town below from the battlements and windows. Those who encounter this silhouette are so frightened that they are said to flee from the castle. Before the castle was constructed in the 13th century, the site was home to a Cistercian monastery and the spirits of the past residents are said to haunt the castle. Many visitors have reported smelling incense in the old chapel, though none had been lit. Chanting has also been heard coming from the same location, and ghostly monks have been seen at multiple locations around the castle. Upon closing for the day, a volunteer was walking around the castle to make sure that all visitors had left before locking up. As they passed into the inner ward, they heard chanting coming from behind them. The volunteer instantly went to investigate and walked back into the outer ward. This chanting seemed to move locations and the volunteer was unable to pinpoint where it was coming from. Heading once more into the inner ward, the volunteer saw a monk standing close to the granary. This monk began wailing as if it were lamenting the loss of its abbey and disappeared through the north wall. Mainly manifesting in the twilight hours are the apparitions of men described as deathly pale, thin and wrapped in chains. Their deathly moans are heard in the night by residents in the town below 
and strange orbs of light are seen spiling around the towers. In the 16th century, King Henry VIII used the castle as a prison, so many of these sightings are believed to be past inmates. Following the outbreak of the English Civil War in 1642, the castle was held by forces loyal to Charles I, holding out until 1646 when it surrendered to the parliamentarian armies. In the aftermath, the castle was partially slighted by Parliament to prevent it being used in any further revolt, and was finally completely ruined in 1665 when its remaining iron and lead was stripped and sold off. This traumatic episode in the castle's history brings the spirit of what is called the Cavalier back in visitation. He has been seen lingering in the West Barbican, where he stands guard by the gate, which is now the entrance to the castle. When people approach, he is reported to call out, Away, servant, I am here. The castle has undergone many paranormal investigations over the years. Ghost hunters are said to have recorded a ghostly voice from beyond the grave. In 2016, a team of paranormal investigators claim they recorded the voice of a little girl, saying, Don't tell them. Then, in 2020, a man took a picture on the walkway up to the castle's entrance, which he believes shows a line of phantoms, led by a male ghost holding a sword. Conway Castle is labelled by many as one of the most haunted places in Wales, with many reports from visitors who claim to have seen a variety of apparitions. Skeptics dismiss all these reports as being mistaken natural phenomenon, false memories and dishonesties, but this completely dismisses that most sightings are made in full daylight and are reported by people with no reason to fabricate such tales. As with all cases of the paranormal, whether or not Conway Castle is haunted comes down to one question. Do you believe?